Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the best WordPress hosting company to fit your needs. I did a video like this about six months ago on this topic, and after some more testing, my results have changed a bit, so I wanted to do an updated video here. So I'll be discussing what I believe are the four best hosting options and showing you how they scored. I picked these four as the best web hosting options after comparing over 20 different hosting companies, and I've been doing this for years. So there are lots of other hosting reviews on YouTube that put you through watching 20 plus hosting reviews before telling you which ones are actually the best ones to choose. And I respect your time and I refuse to do that. So I'm going to get into this pretty quickly here and not make this like a half hour long video. So I should also mention that if you want to support my channel here, I have links to each of these four hosts that I'm reviewing in the description, and some of those will get you a special discount. So be sure to check them out if you want to get a special price, if you think one's a good option for you, and you'll be ensuring that you get the best deal possible. So with this quick intro out of the way here, let's go over how I scored each of the hosts. So I scored these WordPress hosting companies on the following factors, uptime, speed, cost, support, money back guarantee, and the number of data centers and where they're located throughout the world. So in my opinion, the two most important factors are uptime and speed. However, I realize there are some people out there that might be concerned about cost, support, where the data center locations are. So I made sure to include each of those in this evaluation as well. Now for starters, each of these web hosts WordPress plans come with daily backups, free CDN, free SSL, and free emails. So I didn't really want to go into all that nitty gritty, but I'll just tell you that each of those have those. Now I should point out one of the differences between these hosts is actually Green Geeks, which is the first icon right here. If you're not familiar with it, it's right here. This is Name Hero, this is SiteGround, and this one is Liquid Web right here. So Green Geeks is actually the only one that comes with a free domain name, which is kind of interesting because they're also the cheapest one when you're starting out for the initial term of the actual hosting plan itself. So right here, when we go at over the uptime, 99.8% is what Green Geek scored and the other three all scored 100% on the test that I've done. Now I've only ran these tests for the past three months. So that is what the information is based on. And I would say anywhere between 99.5 and 100% would be considered very good and well above average. Obviously 100% is perfect, but this shows you that these are all very good WordPress hosts in terms of the uptime, which to me is one of the most important factors. Now the next most important factor is speed and Google has come out and said that they want websites to load in three seconds or less. So each of these hosts, I used a default WordPress install for the 2020 install and Green Geek scored 1.3 seconds, Name Hero 1.1, SiteGround 1.4 seconds and Liquid Web 1.1 seconds. So these are all amazing times, literally less than half of what Google recommends. Now to put this all in perspective, there were some hosts of these 20 plus that I actually tested that scored in the mid four ranges. There were some in the threes, really less than half of them scored under the three second mark. So these are four of the fastest hosts out there that I actually tested. And as I mentioned before, Green Geeks is actually the cheapest at $2.95 per month for the initial term. Name here it was $4.30 per month for the initial term, $6.99 per month for SiteGround for their initial term, and $19 for Liquid Web is their flat pricing. There's no initial term with them. So I should point out with Green Geeks, Name Hero right here, these two, you're going to only get this price when you sign up for the longest duration plan, which would be a three year commitment. That's how you get this lower rate. I actually do have a lower price with the link that I actually have in the description below, but I just wanted to point that out. Now, in terms of the second term or the normal rate, it actually is a little bit cheaper to use Name Hero at this time then the second term would be with Green Geek. So it's just slightly cheaper for the second term, but the initial term is much less with Green Geeks than the others. Now recently SiteGround did increase their prices to get to the 699 point to start out with their hosting plans for WordPress. However, I actually did a video recently that I'll link to and I go over some of the reasons why this price increase and why it makes a lot of sense for the company and are really just investing in the future and passing on some of the cost while doing that. Now Liquid Web, again, it costs $19 a month, but this would be considered a premium hosting option. So you're always going to expect these premium options to be more expensive. If we move down here to support, we can see that first place overall in support was SiteGround. Second was Liquid Web. 
third was green geeks and fourth was name hero in my opinion so i tested the support on these places numerous times and siteground and liquid web are actually very close but i think siteground gives you great answers and great support when you're a member and i think liquid web is right behind them they're very fast to answer questions and thorough with their analysis and when they're answering questions that might be a little bit more technical now i put green geeks in third and name hero in fourth i think green geeks is solid they have good support i've only had to use their technical support a couple times over the last year or so and they've done a good job overall there was one time where there were some issues but overall they've done a solid job especially at the price you're paying there's a lot of value there i think and name hero is solid as well but i think they're the last out of these four something that i don't like about name hero is when you contact somebody with a ticket they often refer the ticket to somebody else and you're not actually talking to the same person the whole time that might be a preference thing for me but i've also contacted their live chat support and they've needed to ask somebody else a question about a question that i asked them and there can be a delay sometimes even with the live chat support so i would rank it site ground first liquid web second third green geeks and fourth name hero in terms of support now in the guarantee area it's pretty straightforward the first three options listed here green geeks name hero and site ground all have a 30-day money-back guarantee policy and the fourth one listed here liquid web actually does not have a money back guarantee policy however they do have a 14 day free trial that you can get through the link below that i have in the description and you can get a discount on your plans with that coupon that i have in the description as well so it is pretty good that they have this 14 day free trial but you're not going to get this 30 day money back guarantee like you get with the other ones it's just kind of a different structure of how they do it so if we go over here to data centers you can see that there's actually four data centers for green geeks they're located in the united states canada and europe name hero has three in the united states and europe siteground actually has six and they have the most out of these options with the usa europe singapore and australia all having data centers for them and liquid web also has three in usa and europe so depending on where you are in the world this could be an important factor if you're in somewhere like australia or singapore it could be a no-brainer to use siteground because you're probably going to get a better overall experience for yourself and your users in that area and your speed times actually might look a lot better than they look for me right here if you're in that area and testing these compared to one another so to sum it up i would say that green geeks overall has great value at this price point I think with their low price it's going to be one of the best options when you're comparing companies that are in the same price range such as a company like bluehost and you're going to get superior speed support and a free domain name and just have a better overall experience with green geeks than you will with a comparable price host in my opinion so name hero might be the least known one on this list and i actually started using them more recently than all of the other ones that i tested here but they provide both great uptime and great website speeds I think that overall they offer great value at their low price and again similar to how green geeks is i think they beat the competition at that price so if you looked at something like hostgator which is in a similar price range to name hero you're going to see that name hero just crushes them across the board much better support better speeds better uptime it's just a better overall experience with name hero over something like hostgator now for SiteGround, I think they're probably the most well-known name on this list, and that's because they're an industry leader in the hosting industry, and they're known for their awesome WordPress hosting and amazing support. So to put this in perspective, I'm in some Facebook groups where they talk about hosting. It's literally the only thing they talk about. It's pretty nerdy groups in reality, and these groups almost always rank SiteGround as the number one option that people do when they're conducting these polls in these Facebook groups. So if you were to compare them to another popular company in the same price range, such as GoDaddy, GoDaddy also starts at $6.99 for their WordPress plans. There's really no comparison. SiteGround absolutely blows them away. They're easily one of the best options in the entire industry. And I believe that they have the top support within the entire industry with Liquid Web just being closely behind them so liquid web is probably the best premium option out there another good one that's comparable to them would be kinsta i had them very close in this but i didn't want to include two premium options here because i think most people are going to go for a more budget-friendly host overall but kinsta would probably be the fifth host that i would put on this list if i was going to put one however i give liquid web the edge in this case just because i think they have better support and better pricing overall 
very similar speeds and uptime as well. However, with Liquid Web, I honestly don't recommend it if you're starting a new website. And I say this because it often takes at least six months or longer to get significant website traffic. And because of this, it really just doesn't justify the cost of Liquid Web with a new website. So with that being said, I'd still recommend using Liquid Web if you do have a significant amount of traffic. But if you're just starting out, I would opt for something else. So overall, it's tough for me to pick which web host is the best because I honestly don't know what your budget is. I don't know if you have an established website already or if you're going to need to really rely on support. However, I do know that these are four wonderful WordPress hosting options worth considering. Again, if you think one of these hosts could be the right one for you and you'd like to support my channel, I have affiliate links in the description. And again, some of those are special discounted links that you can get only through my channel. So be sure to check those out in the description. I really hope that this video helped you out. And if it did, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe for more WordPress related videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.